Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. If you are new here, hi, I'm Megan. I make videos whenever I can be bothered at the minute. If you saw my recent video, I love Halloween. Absolutely love it. It's my favorite time of the year, favorite season, favorite holiday, all that jazz. And my last haul was actually a Halloween homeware haul and it's gonna be another one because I need to stop, really need to stop. Basically, it's the only time I can buy homeware really because I love spooky stuff, darker stuff, black and white kind of stuff, so I bought a lot of stuff, so we're just gonna get straight into it, because, yeah, shut me up. I don't know where to start. I think I might just get something that's not exactly Halloween-y out of the way at first. The first thing is actually from George Home, which is Asda. I think it's the English version of Walmart, I believe. I'm not too sure. But anyway, I was just in desperate need of some tea lights, and you get 100 in this pack for £2.50, I believe. Got quite a few wax melters, and I ended up buying another one, which is what I'm about to show you. So I needed some more of those because I love Halloween -y style scents, and I love just having wax melters on. Oh, I just got a crick in my neck. Oh, hmm. The other thing that I actually got from Jaws. Jaws? George Asda is actually not gothic or Halloween-y whatsoever. It's co the complete opposite. But I just love it and I have to have it. It is just another wax melter and it is this gorgeous white, I want to say porcelain, I'm not too sure. It, either way, it's an oil wax burner. So I'm guessing you pop the wax melt in there and there's just room for the tea light to go in there. I know it's completely girly and not Halloween-y. I do apologize, but it's on sale for three pound. And I think something like that is a, is worth a hell of a lot more than that. So I thought maybe with um, a black skull wax melt in there, I'm not too sure. I thought that would be quite cool. And I like white and black homeware decor. So I had to pick it up because it was only £3. So we're going to get into the spooky shit now. I might actually get the craft stuff out of the way. If you're not into crafts or anything, I do apologise because I've got quite a lot of stuff. Um, but I do actually make a lot of crafts. So I'm always in and out of hobby craft and things like that. So... I popped in yesterday and they had some goodies. The first thing was actually this set of pumpkins. I believe these were three pound. You basically get a brownie, a copier, ugh, brownie coloured one, a copper one, and a black one that's a little bit larger. And they just these tiny little pumpkins. There's no point getting them out because I get covered in glitter. They're basic, but they're just hanging ornaments. And they're only a pound. I probably won't use them, so I don't know why I bought them. <laughs> but they were cute. They were little pumpkins. I suppose they could go in like a little dish somewhere, but they're only a pound, so I grabbed those. And then similar to those, I got some glittery spiders. Again, these are only a pound, which I thought was such an absolute steal. I'm sorry for the flare, but you get the point. They're just glittery spiders. There is pink, blue, gold, green, silver, and black. And the reason why I bought these is because I want them for a craft. I don't want them glittery. I will probably just paint them all black or all white. Not too sure yet, but I'll, I'll explain a little bit. The next thing I got I absolutely love. I think these were £1.50. Let me check. Oh, these were £2.50. Okay, so these are a little bit more expensive, but there's loads in here. There's 30 wooden skulls. And as you can see, there are two different sizes. And there might even be three. I think there's a large one, a medium, and then loads of little ones. I absolutely love skulls. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with them yet. They could even make cute necklaces and earrings, you know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Not decided yet, but I thought they were super cute. So I grabbed those for 2 50 I think that was it from Hobbycraft. So I'm going to move on. I got one thing from The Works. This was £2. Obviously, it's not gothic. I'm aware. It's not Halloween-y. But it will be once I'm through with it. I have I just hit myself. <laughs> I've got an idea of what I want to do. I'll give you a clue. It's kind of faux taxidermy style. I'm still waiting for the thing that I want to put in the middle to arrive. So this was £2. If you want to keep up with everything I'm going to be making or if you want to get your hands on some homemade, really reasonably priced Halloween homemade goodies, homeware, what the I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> homeware pieces that are homemade, that are reasonably priced, check out my instagram and my facebook is alien queen crafts i will leave the details on screen and down below um because i'm going to be selling loads a little bit so if you have a gothic style head on over there and it'll keep you updated with things that i make including what this is going to be so again more things for craft stuff that i'm going to make i went to abacan in liverpool if you don't know what abacan is it's just a fabric and craft shop so if you're into crafts and stuff definitely see this one in your area because they're amazing i picked up these three really cool Halloween fabrics. I've got the white, these are just cottons by the way, white with black bats. Love this one, it's got the black bats and the black and orange pumpkins on it. 
and then black and white stripes which reminded me of Jack Skellington and I actually made some Halloween Disney ears I will grab them in a second but I think I could also make some Beetlejuice inspired things so again if you want to see what I make with these follow my craft page if you want to buy stuff off me too feel free it's been a while since I actually made Disney ears but I just made these out of fun out of fun out of fun for fun is probably what I'm looking for. They do some Jack Skellington inspired ears and yeah, they are available if you want them. Plug, plug, plug. <laughs> I think the next two things are gonna be absolute shambles because I don't actually know where they're all from. I wanna say Poundland, Pound World or Pound Stretcher, one or the other. So I'm sorry, I can't really give you the heads up on what they are, but they're all a pound, so you get the gist. The first thing I grabbed is actually one of the skeleton animals because I think these are really cool, but some of them can look quite cheap and tacky. Um, but I thought this little guy was really, really cool. His tail has actually broken off, so he needs hot gluing back on, but he's basically just a rat skeleton and he's really cool. This was only a pound, like I said, but I love rats. I had a rat while I was growing up and I really want some rat babies. I think they'd be so cute. I really, really want some, especially want a bald one. But for the time being, this little guy will do. He's really cool and he's not massive. So I will have him out all year round, I think, cause he's super cute and he's got really big teeth. Okay, so kind of going back to the craft kind of stuff. This is also from one of the pound shops, but this is actually just some confetti. I picked two packs up. They come with five different things. So you get pumpkins. I have no idea what the second one is, you know. I'm, I think it's a witch on a broomstick. Then you get some really cool alien looking ghosts, some spiders and some bats. You can't really see because my camera is terrible, but you get the gist. And I think I'm gonna keep these for maybe resin pieces. So yeah, I just had to pick them up. And if not, they could always be sprinkled for Instagram pictures, no idea. I just loved them and wanted them. The next thing I just picked up, so many packets of these bats. They're just like little rubber bats. They were a pound for a packet. I couldn't find these things anywhere. So I bought some online, still waiting for some to arrive. I've got another one down there, but I ended up going to the, this random pound shop and they had loads, so I just raided the shop. They're just tiny little bats, can't really say much about them. Again, if you want to know what I'm doing with them, I will leave a picture here. Hopefully I will be selling these soon. So again, head on over to that craft page, but I adore bats. So even if I don't use all of these for what I have in mind to make and sell, they can always make cute decor pieces. And these actually have little suction things on the back, so... God, they're all stuck together. So, I don't know if you can see, you can pop them on windows and stuff, but I thought they were really cute, so I grabbed shed loads of those. I got these next things actually off eBay because I was desperate for some bats for the things that I'm making. Um, these are a different style. I'm not too sure if you can see. I'm not gonna open them just yet, but these were... I'll leave the price on the screen because I have no idea. Um, just got them off eBay because I couldn't find them, and they were really cute. Again, I'm hoping to use these for crafts, or if not, just standard decorations but love those as well i just found another bag <laughs> so i've actually got some more stuff from a variety of pound shops the first thing is actually just this lace tablecloth it's i'm not actually taking it out but i'm on a halloween uk page and someone has posted a picture of it completely open and it's really cool it's really nice and i'm actually hoping to swap this out soon because i think i've had my time with this my cat's pulled half it down I want a new backdrop, so obviously spooky is gonna happen. And I was considering maybe using this as a backdrop, not too sure if it's gonna be too busy, but it was only a pound, and even if I don't use it as a backdrop, I can always use it for actual tablecloth or things like that, but I love this. It was only a pound, and it seems to be quite good quality as well. Then next from Pound World Pound Shop. Pound World Pound Pound the what? Yeah. I just grabbed these frames. I use these all the time because I create cross stitches, I make and sell those as well and um, with like offensive frames in or like Halloween-y gothic -y things and you pay a pound and you get two in the pack and these are glass, these are really good quality and I absolutely love them so I got some more of those. So the next thing, I, I really don't know if I like this, I obviously like it or I wouldn't have bought it but I think compared to some of the other bits I have bought, it's a little bit tackier, but it was a pound, so. It is just this plastic cloche, and it is basically just this little skeleton guy. He's in a graveyard, I believe. Yeah, it's in a graveyard, and he's got this silhouette of a tree behind with a little owl on. It is just plastic, but if you saw my last haul I bought, 
this cloche which has the two skulls in it and it's glass from home sense and i absolutely adored it i just wanted another one and this was only a pound and thought you know what why the heck not it does light up i believe yeah you're not gonna be able to see that but it's like an orangey light but it was only a pound and again i probably had this out all year round so the final thing from one of the pound shops is actually this little guy and i absolutely adore him i think he's so cute i'm not the biggest fan of the neon orange in the middle but <laughs> I'm not that bothered. Again, he will probably stay out all year round because he's adorable. <laughs> he was only a pound and look at his little arms and his little head. I just love it. And it's got a little star in the back, a room for a tea light. And you can't go wrong with something like this for a pound. He's adorable. And I will probably end up giving him a name. Okay, so the next few bits I actually grabbed are from, I wanna say TK Maxx this time. <laughs> that shop just understands me. <laughs> it is amazing. We actually went into the Liverpool, um, city centre shop and a lot of the stuff was quite expensive so we were like nah just leave it and then we went to the one on Liverpool Shopping Park I think it's, it's the one on Edge Lane basically and the stuff in there was pretty much half the price of what the town stuff is so if you're in the Liverpool area just a heads up the town one is a lot more expensive for so the first thing this was quite cheap this was only 2 99 I'm guessing it's like a cheese dish or a butter dish I don't know I don't cook it is basically in the shape of a little tombstone and it just says RIP. It's not exactly straight, it's kind of like wonky but I'm not forced with a skull and a crow on it. And to be fair, I will probably use this to just sit up like this as an ornament because like I just said, I don't, I don't cook. <laughs> but I absolutely love this and thought this was definitely worth £2.99. So the next thing I just had to grab, I really love a Ouija, 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 wedgie, whatever you call it. <laughs> um style stuff and I, I couldn't leave this behind had these in white as well but obviously i went with the black this was only 3.99 their mugs are um, an amazing quality they're always a really decent size and it just says spirits and drink and then it's just got the alphabet and the numbers and that was really cool it's not too overly detailed but the back has this gorgeous moon on it my kitten is called luna i love anything moon and star related so yeah, I couldn't leave this behind. I absolutely adore this. The next thing <laughs> is so adorable. It's a lot more tackier, but I nearly cried when I saw it. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. My best friend is obsessed with French Bulldogs and one of my friends from work has just got a French Bulldog puppy and it's like, it's a little golf skeleton. <laughs> Oh, Bobby, look at it. It is so cute. It's obviously an unusual shape, but I love how the handle is his tail and it's black, white, and stripy. And I just think this is adorable. It's already on my Instagram if you already follow me on Instagram, but I thought it was gorgeous. And for $3.99, I thought this was an absolute steal and I had to get it. I oh, just look at it. This is all kind of an investment because when Alex and I get our home, all of this will be out. I think the plates and the bowls and everything I'm about to show you are probably going to stay wrapped because hopefully we'll be moving in the next few months so we don't want anything to get ruined. So it's probably not going to go out but it will be out all year round when we move. And this is a mug that Alex chose. This was also $3.99. I do really like this. It's not my favourite piece as in not as much as my mugs. Sorry, Alex, but I think it is really, really cool. It's like a Day of the Dead kind of skull-ish. It's quite lumpy and bumpy, which is what I like about it. So it kind of feels really homemade. Um, not much more I can really say about it. It is really cute. And I love their mugs, so this is Alex's. The next two things, we've got two of each, but I'm obviously just gonna show you one because I can't be bothered unwrapping them. These are absolutely beautiful. They are so nice. These are what were twice the price in town and we got them for half the price. Not They weren't on sale, they were just cheaper. Um, but these were one ninety nine. these bowls, and they're probably not gonna, it's not gonna show it justice basically, but the top bit is like this burnt orange into like a whitey gray, and they're kind of glittery, oh, and they've got the bat silhouettes. They are absolutely gorgeous. They are so cool. So we got one each for me and Alex, and yeah, one ninety nine for the bowls. And then we got a plate each. So the plates were two ninety nine, so a little bit more expensive. Um, oh, I really wish that this was doing it justice of how nice the colours are. It goes to quite a deep, deep orange up here, but they're so lovely. So, so nice. So I think these are only 2 99 and then they do have the extra large ones, but we'd already spent so much money, so we left those ones behind. I think in the TK Maxx we went to, they were like four or five pounds for the big plates, but in the town one, they were like seven or eight pound, maybe even nine pound for the big plates. So make sure you do have a good route around if you can actually access different shops. But for now, I think that's actually it for now. I know, no, I've just seen one more thing. Oh God. 
oh god i've got issues <laughs> but the reason why i nearly forgot this is because it's actually wrapped and this is another thing that will not be going out in the flat it is to wait for when we move but <sighs> this is gonna be hard to show you because it is a mirror get my chin i'm gonna have to do like a little it's basically just this triangle cut out mirror the corner pieces are like a tinted dark gray the middle is just a standard mirror and then it has room here for a big um candle to stick onto i can't i'm gonna get the picture up um that the seller put up here just so you can see what it's meant to look like but as soon as i saw this picture that is just my aesthetic it's kind of gothic kind of dark but then there's a bit of greener in green greenery in there and I couldn't leave it behind I think this was 12 11, 11 12 or 13 pound off eBay I will link it below if it is still available because it is absolutely gorgeous and I think this will just make a little plain bit of wall in hopefully our new home look quite nice okay so now for now it is everything that I've picked up recently. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. It does honestly mean the world to me. If you are new here, please go and hit the big red subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. Did anyone else notice how smoothly I said subscribe for the first time in my life then? <laughs> also, please give the video a massive thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I'll also leave all of my social media in the comments down below. So my personal Instagram as well as my arts and craft page. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!